what is going on you guys it is dame the gamer and welcome back to the channel and today we're covering a highly anticipated game a long overdue a decade and a half in the making and that is mario strikers battle league man the second one for nintendo wii mario strikers charge came out back in 2007 and the original mario strikers came back out in 2005 on gamecube in my opinion still one of the greatest gamecube games ever fight me in the comment section man the first one came out back in 2005 back in 2005 i was 12 years old back then all i was thinking about was candy video games beyonce and bootylicious to now i'm thinking about bills nfts mortgages nfts relationships children it's been a while and today we're gonna talk about it today i'm gonna give a review for this game been playing it for a couple of hours so i'm gonna talk about all the cons that i didn't that i didn't like about this game some of the things i feel like need a bit of work and all the things that i love about this game man but if you guys want to see another review please make sure you hit the subscribe button you like the video and you turn on post notifications to know every time i upload a video all right let's get into the video now we're going to talk about the first con I have for this game and it's my biggest con and it's the character selection for me it's not enough characters you would think with nintendo owning the rights to a lot of their characters i was hoping for more variety now i know some of the fandom already are going to be like eh but dame you can't compare other games to other games well damn it i am think about it for a sec super smash bros the greatest game Nintendo has ever fathomed, okay, has over 70 characters, including DLC characters, right? That is amazing. A variety, a selection like none other. And the best part about it is that whenever me and my family were playing or any of my friends were playing, I would never know what character they were going to pick. It adds a, a mystique to the competition, right? But for Mario Strikers Battle League, there's only 10 characters. That's right. 10. There's only 10 characters. One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, 10. There's only 10 characters. So that's a big negative for me, man. Each team can pick four characters, right? So that's eight out of 10 characters already gone. So you already know a good chance of who's going to pick who. So you would automatically... Uh, match them up with someone who is as equal strength as them which is kind of annoying think about it wouldn't it be awesome to see Mega Man fight Sonic Captain Falcon versus Samus Kirby versus King DDD make sure you keep that rivalry going Nintendo I mean that now another complaint I have with this game and it's not a minor one because I know it's a Mario game it's uh there's no campaign mode or story mode with this game um like I said before, I know Mario games are not known for having long narrative stories, but it would have been nice to at least have um, like a little story like how Mario or whatever character you play as has to battle everybody to get to the final boss and the final boss be an unlockable character, maybe like Bowser, you know, a thousand times stronger or... Um, setting something up for a future dlc that would have been pretty cool and um that's one thing but it's not a big deal breaker for me because i know what type of games mario games are okay now another one i wanted to talk about that is iffy with me now that i've actually played the game when i saw earlier reviews release their reviews for this game a lot of them were talking about the mechanics and the controls for this game and initially when i heard them say that i thought you know it's just it's just a mario game you know it's how hard can they be controls now i know for the gamecube version and the nintendo wii version the controls were fluid amazing they flowed well with the game but as i'm playing this game i understand what those reviewers were talking about the controls are very difficult to learn there were times where um the pass button is the shoot button. The shoot button is the pass button. The alley button is different now. The melee attack button is different now. 
and the hyper strike move is completely different now so it was those i get why they had a tough time learning the controls man because it was very difficult to you know try to get the ball back steal the ball back hit people and all of that so i get what they were talking about now let's talk about the pros man talk about the pros the pro my no one of my favorite pros for this game is strikers club this is the biggest positive to me because you could play with or against friends to win awards and other customizations win or lose your team points that will determine your online tiers and that will determine your club's prizes at the end of every season. This is a big fun one uh, me and my cousins are going to do later on this year. So I'm looking really looking forward to that. Another thing I want to talk about is the hyper strikes. Finally. Let me see DK's. Yeah, buddy. Show him. Let's go. The Super Strike works sort of similar to like um, Super Smash Bros to where you have to hit the special logo uh, icon to activate your special attack to use the Super Strike attack. So that was really fun. I really enjoyed that. It was, it's a big highlight for me because I like the way that works. I also like how you're able to get uh, weapons like the green shell, the red shell, the banana, um, the star power. Yeah, just great. Just love it. Keep it up. Yeah, so those were my thoughts about the game. I'm very much looking forward to seeing what Nintendo has left to give us for this game. Um, I know they're working on DLC right now, and I'm sure they're going to add some more characters to it because that is my biggest gripe with this game is that there's not enough characters. So I'm not gonna give this game a score just because I know not everyone's gonna agree with it, but I'm just gonna say if this is a buy or not buy. And to me, this is definitely a buy. Um, this game has full nostalgia apart with it. Um, it is a great game to play with or and against friends online. And the Strikers Club mode is like one of my favorite parts of this game, man. It's really enjoyable. Sometimes the servers didn't work for me all that well, but I still thoroughly enjoyed this game, man. All right. But if you guys like this review, man, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. You like the video. You turn on post notifications to know every single time I upload a video. All right. Until the next time, you guys. Game the Gamer out. Peace.